Hey everybody, today we are looking at this right here uh, from KB Air. This is their latest. This is a tribrid. So this has uh, two balanced armatures and one, um, one 10 millimeter dynamic driver. KB Air Ormiosa, if I'm saying that right. Uh, o -M -O -R -M -O S I A Ormosia could be Ormosia. I don't know honestly, but it is cool. Uh, it's a red bean. I love red bean paste. Uh, the cable is a little on the thin side. That would be probably one of the cons with this is that the cable is on the thin side and it is. Um, MMCX, which is my most favorite of the connections, but it is a thinner cable, so try to keep it rolled up like this when you put it away and stuff, and you should be fairly decent with tangling, uh, but just be warned, thinner cables do tangle. I'm going to try to connect this back quickly. There we go. Okay. Not the easiest thing to do when you're not actually looking at it. So as you can see, it's a unique shape. Uh, the color is actually better. I mean, if I look on you know, on the camera and then I look it up here, it is this really nice metallic red color. Uh, really nice shape. Quite comfortable in the air. It has very good ergonomics. Um, isolation is excellent with this. Uh, comfort is excellent. These are all this is an all aluminum alloy body. You of course get the nice uh, pouch that they always uh, pouch case that they always get you. This nice really small case. It's one of my most favorite small cases that they make. I absolutely love that. Uh, beautiful case packaging and everything. So ultimately, looking at this, um, I'm gonna bring up the specs if we can I actually had this set but I ended up whacking into it um, so okay um, that is completely wrong why am I getting a bunch of different specs here. Alright, so 16 ohm, according to this, 108 decibels. Um, let me look at the box back here. Okay, so on my box it says 16 ohm, 20 to 20 kilohertz, 105 decibels of sensitivity. So I don't know. Um, I'm looking at the online, so I don't know either one. I mean, it's pretty close either way. So it's easy to drive. Let's just put that out there. It's really easy to drive. But using a dongle DAC or a DAP or anything like that, that that's it's going to scale and it's going to actually sound much better. Uh, this being a triple uh, tribrid or a triple driver, this has... Um, two balanced armatures and a 10 millimeter composite diaphragm. Uh, so you've got a dynamic, you've got the, the balanced armatures. That said, it's, it does have some very good details. And I'm gonna get into my notes if I can. Okay, so um, we'll start at the bottom, we'll start at the base. Now the base is very, very good. It has excellent control. And it definitely has, uh, you know, uh, there's a lift in the base down there. So there is elevated base. Uh, it's not base heavy by any means. Uh, the base is more kind of uh, controlled. It almost has a, almost a neutral kind of uh, sound signature to it. Not to say that if you have something with a sub bass, the sub bass doesn't uh, have a nice rumble to it. Uh, but it does have a kind of quick uh, attack and decay there. 
it moves on, it rumbles, it moves on. You get into the mid bass. The mid bass is probably uh, about the same in elevation. It has nice uh, impact and speed there, as well as being clear and detailed. Um, so it, it's it is very very good controlled bass. Uh, definitely. Uh, sometimes you say quality over quantity. This one has a decent amount of quality and a decent amount of quantity at the same time. Uh, so it's very good bass. I like this bass. It's not going to be for bass heads per se, but it's excellent bass. Nonetheless, I like it and I'm a bass head. I just like the, the, the details of that bass and the control are just really good. Um, mids, there is a little bit of bleed into the mids, into the lower mids. Um, so you're going to hear that, that warmth there. There is a nice warmth. Um, there's definitely very good detail in the mids here. Uh, they definitely sound very rich. Uh, there's, there's no shoutiness whatsoever to them, both male and female. They just sound really, really good, really, really detailed. Uh, definitely some good emotion and energy there. And, uh, you know, even with some bad recordings, they still sound some pretty good, but this thing doesn't like bad recordings at all. Uh, I should just say that. Now this is, um, you know, there's going to be a little bit of recession there. Not too much. I mean, the vocals seem a little bit forward, but the, there is a recession there, this being kind of what we call a more mature, mild, or, you know, smoother V-shape uh, sounding IAM. Mids are excellent though, definitely rich and uh, full bodied. You get into the highs, now the highs are good. They actually have a, a, a very good controlled elevation. There's clarity and airiness to them, as well as some nice sparkle up there, but they never get to that point where they're, they're just drilling through your ear. Uh, very good control on the highs as well. Moving into sound stage, imaging, separation, uh, it's very good. As a matter of fact, it's above average. Uh, it has a very kind of natural field of the sound stage, uh, and in within that sound stage, there is some excellent uh, accuracy there, some good imaging and separation as well. Uh, and I just find it very good. Uh, it's not the widest, but it, it definitely works for this unit uh, and its signature. Um, that said, inside the box you'll get the pouch, you'll get the cable, the units, and a bunch of different air tips and everything. Uh, there's even a clip on there as well. Um, and there's really no cons I can think of. I mean, ultimately this is what we call a smooth kind of V-shape, but uh, with a caveat. This V smooth V-shape has details. A lot of times some details are kind of just smoothed out. This one has some excellent layering separation detail. Uh, the technicalities of this uh, is really good for the price. A very good uh, technical performance uh, from this. So this kind of combines like a bunch of different things and they put it into this. Now like I said the cable's a little bit on the thin side. Um, the accessories are perfect. I love this box, by the way. Um, it's not forgiving on really bad tracks, particularly MP3s that are like just really yuck, you know. Uh, there, there are a lot of earphones out there. You can just play anything. But this one picks some things out, and honestly, you can EQ it out or whatever. But... Uh, even though it can be played from any device, uh, it definitely seems to shine coming out of something that has very good DAC chips, like the V6 here, or the Griffin, or something like that, my SMSL up there. Even this little guy here, using this little guy here, this definitely helps with this device, making it sound even more better than it already is. But you don't need that with this, honestly. Any type of dongle or something like that, or even if you had like an LG phone or something, uh, works well. Definitely works well. Uh, other than that, that's all I can say. I like this. This is in my favorites now. Um, I don't know if it's the top fit. There's so many ones coming into my favorites now. I have like three under a hundred dollars that I absolutely love. 
and I have to go through that big favorite box over there and I have to pull out a few things because these guys have to replace them and, and the other two have to replace them, the Kai and the Zero, they have to replace the favorites. So this guy's a tribrid. Uh, it does ex an excellent job. Like I said, it, it's good for all around, any type of music. Uh, very good, kind of mature, smoothish, relaxed V-shape with detail, which is something you don't usually get, detail with a relaxed V-shape. Um, this has very good details. Um, great mids, great treble, very good controlled bass, uh, great technical performance, and decent sound stage, excellent comfort and isolation, looks very beautiful, sturdy, uh, excellent. I really do like these. Um, I hope this video was informative, and I will see you somewhere else on the internet. Please be safe.